What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now in this video I plan on building a whiskey rack, somewhere to keep a few bottles and a few glasses, maybe even a couple of wine bottles. I quite enjoy a drop of Ishkebaha, or translated the water of life, and uh, my whiskey collection at the minute consists of a single bottle of 12 year old red breast, but that's not a bad place to start. So I have a old coffee table, so we're going to upcycle some furniture in this video as well. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it now. This has taken me a few takes to get the intro to this video right, so um, I better not drink any more of this stuff. Well, I'll finish this and uh, then we'll start the video. Let's do it. It is good stuff. Okay, let's jump into it. Now, I should just say, don't drink and come out and do woodworking. I'm a professional. Uh, it was just for intro purposes, so don't worry, I'm not actually inebriated. But this is my coffee table. So I built the oak resin coffee table. That now sits in my house in my sitting room. So this was surplus to requirement. It's quite an old coffee table, but it is made from oak. So there was no way I was going to throw this out. I was going to recycle it and upcycle it, as they say. So we're going to strip this apart, get it to its component parts. And like always, I have an idea, not quite a plan. So we'll see what we're left with when we strip this apart. And then we'll decide how we're going to reassemble it to get a whiskey rack out of it. Let's do it. Okay, so here is the table in question. And like all modern furniture, it's literally just bolted together with some screws and some bolts. But uh, the wood is good. Like I say, it's made from oak. So it would definitely be a shame to just, you know, throw anything like this out, especially when there's good wood in it. And oak has gotten quite expensive lately. So uh, it's definitely going to be recycled. So, like I said, I need to disassemble this. So it's just screws, screwdrivers, put all the Phillips screws out of it, take all the bolts apart and uh, yeah, see what we're left with and we'll try and build some kind of rustic uh, whiskey holder, wine holder, glass holder thing. Let's do it. Okay guys, we are fully disassembled. Now, it looks like this could just screw back together in the shape of a wine rack, luckily enough. So I'm gonna take you through what I have a plan to do and uh, it's gonna be simple enough. There's probably just gonna be a lot of tidying up in this project, um, sanding everything back down, getting all the finish off it, making everything nice. But like I say, it looks like it's gonna actually go back together in the shape of a wine rack. So this is the top itself. Again, it's, it's laminated oak. So it's a bunch of oak boards laminated together and they usually put cuts in the back of it like that just as expansion joints, just so the top doesn't warp. But this looks like a nice set of planks. So I think this is gonna be the back of my rack because I quite like the lines that are already cut into it and we're gonna use what we have. So now, here's the legs, which I'm gonna use for like little pillars, little uprights. Let me assemble this together and you see what I mean. Okay guys, we have the table upside down, so this is the underneath the table. So we have our kind of a lines in it to look like oak planks. Then I'm gonna take the legs, use them for pillars on the side, and our runners, our stretchers, are gonna double up as our shelves. Now everything has screw holes in it all together, so we have to look at the screw holes, so we might as well use them. So I'm just gonna cut everything to size. The small stretchers are gonna work as shelves in between the legs. The long stretchers then, they're gonna work as the main shelves. I'm gonna have tall bottles to the top, then I'm gonna have some of the taller whiskey. Now these whiskey glasses are quite big, these crystal ones. So they just fit in here. The bottle of red breast just goes underneath. So I'm gonna keep the smaller whiskey bottles to the top or to the bottom. I also have room, a little shelf on top for some more glasses. Then I'm gonna use these other smaller stretchers that were used just to keep the table flat. Stick the two of them together, put them down here, cut some notches in them, and we can hang our wine glasses from the bottom just like this, if that makes sense. It will all out in a minute. So yeah, it looks like this thing is just gonna be a case of clean it up, sand it all up, and screw it back together in its current formation. Now, obviously we have a few things that we have to hide. We have to look at these screw holes. So if we have to look at something, we're gonna make them a feature. So we'll get some different color dowels, maybe some walnut dowels, and plug all these holes when everything is together. Another thing we need to do is build some sort of railing in front of these bottles so that they don't fall out. They shouldn't fall out on the shelf at that, but 
maybe some kind of little decorative railing just in front of them, something metal, maybe copper, because copper and oak are really the two things that are involved in making whiskey. So you have your pot stills or your column stills all made from copper, and then the barrels that everything gets aged in is made from oak. So it's kind of a perfect medium or material to build this with. So that's the plan. It's literally just disassemble the table, clean it all up and screw it all back together and see how it looks. And we're gonna make it as decorative possible. I'm gonna pull these bolts as well. Also have these big uh, kind of chamfers taken out of these corners. So we'll see if we can incorporate that into the design. And again, and plug these. If not, we can just hide them. We can turn them in the way where they won't be seen. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So I'm gonna take a few measurements now. I can cut these components to the correct width, start cleaning everything up, sanding everything down, planing everything off. And uh, this should be just a case to screw everything together. So let's do it. Okay, here's a quick tip when it comes to pulling out these uh, threaded bolts. I don't know if you've seen these before, but they kind of have a coach bolt thread on one end. So for driving into the wood, and then you have fine threads then for your nut on the other end. But just to twist them out, twist on a nut and another nut. Lock, lock the two of them together. So tighten them right up. And you can just unwind this guy from the wood. You don't damage any of the threads. And it's quite a handy bolt if you ever wanted to screw something into wood and then have threads for your nut. Very handy indeed. Okay guys, rather than sand everything down to try and remove this finish and uh, end up you know, with wavy surfaces and stuff like that and things that aren't perfectly square, I'm just gonna take a razor sharp blade in my number five uh, hand plane, jack plane, and I'm just gonna shave everything down. And you get just a nice finish with a really sharp blade. You really do get a better finish than you do with sandpaper. So I'm literally just taking, just the top off this, really nice fine shavings, and it's giving me a lovely surface. So, a bit of elbow grease now. I'm gonna take all the components, I'm gonna hand plane everything to get it back to a nice uh, surface, and then we'll see what way we're gonna finish this. Get everything cut to size, and then we can begin to assemble. And we can begin to see this thing take shape. Now the plan may change as we go to assemble, but we shall see. It's like always, I have an idea, not a plan, but uh, yeah. We might just get a whiskey rack out of it. we are all planed up and more or less sanded up ready to go. So I've changed the layout slightly so that I can get a large bottle on top and a large bottle on the bottom and I'm gonna put the whiskey glasses to the top. I've also been and got some half inch copper pipe and some half inch elbows. So what I'm gonna do is fix some copper bar across in front. We'll attach them to the elbows like that and that's gonna form our railings. Uh, for our bottles and for our glasses up on top. Just so that so nothing falls out. And again, the copper and whiskey mix is per, or the copper and oak mix is perfect for the whole whiskey and wine team. Now I'm gonna use this board for the bottom. That's gonna go on like this and I'm gonna put the, the wine glasses hanging off that. So that's gonna be the final layout now. So now it's a case of just mark everything up, get everything in its final position. And uh, I can screw on all the shelves, screw on the uprights from the back and uh, get a finish on it. And yeah, it's more or less time to assemble. Okay guys, I'm just marking out the bottom for my wine glasses. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in 50 mil from each edge to my first glass, and then I'm gonna have a spacing of 100 mil between them. So they're just gonna hang like that. So I'm gonna get four glasses hanging from the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do is mark in these, with square in these lines. So I have a line at 50, 
100 mil, another 100 mil, 100 mil, 50 out from the edge. So square those lines in to the center. I'm going to drill a hole with a force in a bit. Then I'm going to square the lines from the circles and uh, cut in with the bandsaw so that these will just slot straight in. So that's the plan. So let's go and do that. Okay, there's our piece made for our wine glass holders. Now I drilled a 25 mil hole with the force and a bit, you saw me do that on the um, drill press. Then I just took it to the bandsaw and cut these out. Now I didn't square the line from the edge of the hole out. What I did was from the center line, I measured five millimeters either side. So our gap here is not the same width as the hole as you can see. What that will allow us to do then is to slot in the stem of the wine glass will fit in nicely, then it will hang down. And it gives just a little bit of security because the widest part at the end of the glass, you can't pull it out there now if you see. So you can't actually pull the glass off. You have to lift it and then take it out. So just a nice little safety feature to stop the glasses from ever sliding out if they get bumped. Like I say, you have to lift them up in order to take them out. So there you go, nice and easy little concept. So that's that made up. So now I'm gonna sand everything to 240 grit and then we're gonna to start to assemble it. So let's get on that. Well guys, some technical difficulties. So we've no sound for the next bit of the video. The jack wasn't in properly. So it's gonna be a bit of music and me doing stuff. It should be fairly self-explanatory. I talk too much anyway, so it's not gonna be that big a deal. Here's some music. Right guys, there we go. One whiskey and wine rack complete, upcycled from an old coffee table. So it turned out pretty well. And I even managed to add a little bit of whiskey to my whiskey collection between the start and the finish of this video. So that's quite nice. I'm gonna have a taste of that later on now. I'm quite looking forward to it. So yeah, it not, doesn't look too bad. I actually left the screw holes open. I thought they looked a little bit rustic. They kind of went with the whole team of the thing. I was gonna make some dowels to plug them, but then when I stood back and looked at it, I said, you know what? It looks, uh, it kind of fits with the team to leave the little dark screw holes open. So that's what I did. Um, I've just glued in the rails for now with some super glue, it seems to be holding them fine. I might um, take them back out if they get loose and add some actual epoxy just to hold them in. But for now, 
it works, it's doing the job, and I'm pretty happy with it, how I turned out. Now, it is just screwed to the wall of my workshop for now. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not gonna leave it in here, otherwise I may never actually leave my workshop and that would get me in a whole heap of trouble. So, this is going to go into my house later on. I'm kind of finishing a room in my house and this is gonna go into it with the oak uh, river table that I made. This will be in there with it. So, that's the plan. So, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that build. Right guys, there we go. The project is all finished. I really liked that one. It was nice, simple and easy. Everything was kind of already made from the coffee table. Just took it, repurposed it and upcycled it and I'm really happy how it turned out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration. Again, if you're new here, think about subscribing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're on Instagram, give me a follow there. Now I've seen a bunch of you guys messaging me on Instagram. You are all into whiskey as well. Or at least a whole load of you are. I shared a couple of pictures of the whiskey that I was drinking and you sent me a lot of messages saying yeah it's whiskey is pretty great and it is pretty great uh ishkabaha i quite like a drop of the pure as well so we shall finish the video the way we started i'm going to have a nice drop so we propose a toast um an irish toast may the roofs above your head never fall in and those beneath them never fall out shlancha i shall see you in the next one guys take it easy it's good stuff